the idea of this video is to tell a brief story of my issues and maybe highlight to those people that are experiencing similar issues. You are never unaware of having a leg ulcer. So if we're going out, I would never be the one wearing a dress or whatever, I'd wear trousers or a long skirt or a long dress. Thank goodness the maxi dress is coming into fashion. <laughs> You can't get up in the morning and spontaneously jump in the shower without putting your leg in a plastic bag or, or something. It was very painful. It was a small pain. It was, I couldn't see anybody. I couldn't walk. I went from having a patch that was the size of a 10 pence piece, you know, to, to having a whole, um, whole lot on my leg that was no skin. It's meant that I've not been able to have a full-time job. I've not been able to follow the career that I wanted to do. So I have other issues as well which we wonder possibly maybe if it's to do with the lipedema or is one causing the other it's very hard to know. Well I actually got back in treatment March the 4th this year and it has been life-changing. It's been a lot better since I got the diagnosis since I was diagnosed and I actually knew what I was dealing with it's really helped. It will never be healed because obviously I've got permanent damage um, to the veins in my legs so I need, need to wear support some rather fine support hosiery but by crikey could it work you know to someone that has got it don't let it rule your life and i'm pleased to say over the last few weeks that it's finally healed but you must get treatment i would say get the right advice and help just to be in treatment is life-changing that's uh, two words mentally i don't think i can put into words how much it means to me to possibly see the back of this. They should be positive. I am really hoping that the Legs Matter campaign can spread the word even more. So I hope that Legs Matter reaches out to all those people and gets them the right advice right from the very beginning.